Hello everyone and welcome to today's advent of code. Uh, we're streaming a bit early today because I have an event to go to. Let me just uh, finish. Sorry, I forgot to set up one thing. Um, but yeah, it yeah we're half an hour off before schedule. So yeah, it yeah we're half an hour. Sorry about that. So when people um, tune in eventually, you know, I'll be fine. Huh? Hey, Tanab Zero. Do I know you? People have all these handles, um, but I can't remember who's who. But I feel like I know Tana from somewhere. It's like a planet. Or explain yourself. No. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Uh, I have to admit, I my friend was discussing this problem today, so I know how the output input looks not the input but yeah how the example looks but i haven't you know i haven't like worked on it but i i, I gave it a tiny bit of thought that's just what happened ah you see the input in there anyway let's get started on today's advent of code by the way is the audio working today because uh, yesterday it was like working on the recording and it's working in obs but it was not working on the stream so i hope um Okay, sounds good. Great. Okay, so today we're yesterday we had like a machine and we were exploring the virtual memory of that machine. Now we are looking at tree houses. Um tree top tree house. Okay. So are all planted and carefully in a grid. Uh the expense of the previous expedition plant these trees. Is a reforestation effort. Now they're curious if this would be a good location for a treehouse. First, determine whether there is a good enough there is enough tree cover here to keep a treehouse hidden. To do this, you must count the number of trees that are visible from outside the grid when looking directly along a row or column. Okay, good. They also have already a uh, so I knew this, right? We were talking about some length, blah, blah, blah. I thought maybe you had to do diagonals and that would be really hard. But now we're actually only looking at rows and columns. Okay, so they already done. So quadcopter and each tree represents a single digit would well use its height. Where zero is the shortest and nine is the tallest. A tree is visible if all of the other trees between it and an edge of the grid are shorter than it. Only consider trees in the same row or column. That is only look up, down, left, right from any given tree. Okay. All of the trees around the edge of the grids are visible. Is there all around? Yeah, there are no trees blocking. In this example, that only leaves the interior nine trees to consider. Okay. Top left five is visible from the left to the top. Okay. With 16 trees are visible on the edge and only five visible in the interior. A total of 21 trees are visible in this arrangement. Consider your map. How many trees are visible from outside the grid? Alright, let's start off by grabbing the example. This is fun because uh, uh, it seems like we have an actual, you know, now we actually need to do work uh, that's not just uh, parsing, right? Okay. Module main where so does anyone here know Haskell? Did anyone here listen to the Haskell interlude? It's this Haskell podcast, and uh, we are recording an episode today, and uh, I think it turned out okay. Uh, read input. Okay, this is gonna give us a file path to I/O, and we're gonna return a list of something. We're not gonna do any fancy array stuff today. Uh, read input equals pars dot uh, over uh, read file now where pars okay so first we're gonna split it into lines right so it's gonna be a list of strings and now we're gonna do map a uh, dig it to int Yeah, I think it's like this. 
let's see, import data.char dig it to int. Alright, uh, I need to do fmap dot and parse, let's see, parse is supposed to take, uh, parse is going to take a uh, string to uh, this list of ints, right? Uh, dig it to, it's a lines. Ah, map, map, dig it to int. I think it's like this. Now, let's see here, read input, a example into print. Let's see, a CD day 8, GHC, O day 8, a day 8 dot HS, and we are gonna day 8. We're gonna time it also. Okay, we got the input. So, what I'm going to do is, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so, cause we're always gonna look like, okay, so, uh, so like from this side, right? So I'm gonna consider it like, so first like do like, like a scan like this, right? 30373. So check which is visible from this, if you do it like this, right? And then I'm gonna reverse it and check what's visible that way. And then I'm gonna transpose it. And then I'm gonna trans reverse the transposition. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's actually now, uh, uh, let's map, like let's map this, let's add the coordinates there. Okay, so uh, add coords. It's gonna be a list, list of ints to a list of list of int comma int. Uh, these are the cohorts because we don't want to we don't wanna repeat them, right? Add cohorts, cohorts, uh, cohorts. Okay, uh, okay. This is gonna be sip with sip. Uh, Zero. Sip with sip zero. Okay. Do 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 do. So what is the problem here? Uh. Cute match type a zero b zero two with a. Mm -hmm. Sip with a inner. So the type of this inner is gonna take a list of hints. Ah. What if I do, uh, oh yeah, okay. Cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be the other way around. Right, eh. So this is gonna be, it's not gonna be this type, right? So it's gonna be int, comma, int, comma, int. This is sip with a uh, sip, sip, zero, and then zero. Okay, ah, oh, no, right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sip with, so this is gonna take like the, okay, this is, let's, uh, let's make it back into the original cohorts. Int, comma, int, int. Okay, so sip with, okay, so this is gonna take the, like the row index, row index. And it's gonna say a, uh, Sip with, okay, uh, and then we're gonna take the e, the uh, column index, and uh, we're gonna take the value, 
Okay, and we're gonna return row index column index uh, value. Okay, let's see here. Uh, now let's turn this into map m print. So it prints every line. Uh, let's see what that does. Okay, this prints every line. Now we're gonna say add cohorts. So it's supposed to be like, yeah, 0, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 3. Okay, and now we made sure that, uh, so we're gonna collect all of the cohorts of the ones that are seen. Um, and then we're just gonna make sure that we're not uh, doing too much, uh, like over counting, right? Okay, so uh, variations, vars. Uh, let's call this a uh, type co or uh, type cord co co or list equals um yeah okay so variations is gonna be uh hmm so now we're actually not gonna we're just gonna join them okay so that's gonna be again a list a list a list of ints it's gonna take a, a list of this and we're just gonna like copy things so variations of x's equals a x's plus reverse x's plus transpose x's that is from data dot list to import data dot list transpose a plus a transpose plus a reverse of transpose a axis. Okay, so first we're gonna we're seeing the ah uh, no I need to map reverse axis right. Okay, let's let's print out the variations here. Okay. Okay, so first we have uh, axis. Okay, then map reverse axis. Okay, and then we get them all from the uh, from the other side. Right. So in the other direction. Right. So it's. Mm, so this is the first one. And then it starts with four zero, four one, four two, four three, four four, zero. Ah. Right, now this is the first one. Yeah. Okay. And then it starts with from the other direction. Okay, and then we're gonna say plus plus transpose axis. Plus plus and map reverse transpose axis. So these are all the variations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are gonna s say a uh, scene in a list of uh, uh, int comma int comma int okay so in one of these lists uh, so we are going to have the scene here scene uh, okay scene of empty list is empty list Ah, wait, so scene equals scene, uh, let's say scene equals scene prime. Uh, and then we have the min so far. This is gonna be zero. Okay, so that's a minimum height so far. Where scene prime uh, min so far. Ah, no, this is actually max so far, max so far. Empty list equals empty list. Uh, so we don't actually care about this one. Uh, scene prime uh, 
max so far uh, max so far and this is going to be a, a tree and a, so it's going to be the cohort and the value we don't actually care about the cohort here so we're going to say a, a and then the rest so okay so are they visible if they are if all the trees between on the edge of the are shorter Okay, so if it's shorter, let's see. So max so far. Uh, okay, so let's say a case a v bigger than max so far equals. Um, so then we're gonna say tree at, uh, and then we're gonna add the scene prime a v. AR. Otherwise, it's just scene prime max so far R. And now it's complaining because I think this one is not correct. Okay. Now let's. So this is a scene, and I want to say maps with print variations, and then I want to say map scene okay now we get a bunch of trees so from the left edge we can see the three and then we just see with just the three and then we see the seven okay now i am going to take the uh, first of all of these okay map a uh, map fsd Oh, map scene, uh, map, map FSD. So now we're going to drop all the values. We just get the cohorts. And then I am going to make this all into a set. Let's see. So task one. Uh, it takes in a list of lists of hints and it returns an int. Okay, now that's going to be all this stuff. Task 1 equals. Okay. Um, task 1. So we map and we have all the cohorts. Okay, and then we do... Um, map uh, set.from list. We have to import set for this. Import a data dot set set import qualified data dot set as set. So we map all these sets and then we do a so then we have a, a, a list of a sets and then we do set dot unions. A, and then we're going to do set that size. Now, do, 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 do. print task one. Boom, 19. I feel like the answer was 21. Eh. Oh, the answer is supposed to be 21. some zero sized trees on the edges yes we did have zero sized trees on the edges so we started off with uh, zero okay let's see if this works for the input oh my god maybe we fucked up let's see into input maybe this might be too slow
Huh. 12 milliseconds. Let's see if it's correct though. All right. We did task one at 20 minutes. All right, that's not bad. I think that was quite good. I mean, but it was also like, I, I suspected like the input was crazy high. Uh, like I'm big, but I thought, okay, maybe, yeah. Ah, looking up. Okay, let me check. Yeah, just a Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, content with the amount of trees of the cover available, I also just need to know the best plot to build a treehouse. They would like to be able to see a lot of trees. To measure the viewing distance from a T, look up, down, left, and right from that tree. Stop if you reach an edge at uh, the first tree. Oh my god. It's gonna be a lot messier. The elves don't care about a. Uh, Measure viewing distance from a given tree. Look up, down, left, and right from that tree. Stop if you reach an edge or at the first tree that is the same height or taller than the tree under consideration. If a tree is right on the edge, at least one of its viewing distances will be zero. The elves don't care about distant trees taller than those found by the rules above. The proposed tree house has large eaves to keep it dry. So they wouldn't be able to see higher than the tree house. Anyway. Looking up, it's views not blocked. It can see one tree. Looking left, it's view is blocked immediately. You can see only, only one tree. Okay, looking right, it's view blocked. I can see two trees. Looking down, it's view is blocked. Eventually, you can see two trees. One of height three, and then the tree of height five that blocks its view. A tree's scenic score is found by multiplying together its viewing distance in each of the four directions. Okay, for this tree, this is four. It's found by multiplying one times one times two times two. Ah, so consider the tree middle of the fourth row. Looking up, its view is blocked at two trees. Uh, looking left, his view is not blocked. You can see two trees. Looking down, his view is not blocked. One tree. Looking right, his view is blocked at two trees by a massive tree of height nine. His tree's scenic score is eight. Okay, so we just find the trees and then we're multiplying. The tree's scenic score is eight. This is the ideal spot for the tree house. Okay, um, right, so we definitely, maybe, do we definitely want one that's like seen from the edge? I don't know if this is, um, okay, let's see. Is, is, uh, I'm not like, I'm not getting an idea here, like, oh, this is a good algorithm, right? I feel like, yeah, we can't, we could just calculate the score for all of them, but that would be a waste, right? Uh, this is going to be some dynamic thing, right? Where like the score of tree three is equal to It's gonna be like equal to like the scores of the trees around it, right? Because um, yeah, so like the 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 right score of tree three is gonna be uh, it's gonna be like one. Let's see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Some dynamic programming stuff. Okay, um,
Anyone have? Does anyone has anyone solved this part? Does anyone have like a good idea here? Um. change this array okay uh, now uh, let's see uh, data uh, tree is going to have a, a tree it's going to have a height it's gonna have the uh, cohorts It's gonna have the, uh, so these are the things we're gonna be updating, right? It's gonna have the left value. It's gonna have the, uh, it's gonna have the up, down, left, right, like up, up value, down value, left value, and right value. Left value and right and a right value. Okay, now, um, so let's say, uh, let's actually create these trees, okay? Now, uh, task two, okay, so let's say uh, two tree takes a list of these, uh, blah, blah, blah. Takes a list of these and returns a list of, list of tree, two tree uh yeah okay no, this one takes a it actually just takes a tree it's like yeah okay and uh, uh it takes in like uh, it turns a tree and it's gonna be c and v and this is equal to t uh, so the h is gonna be uh, the value so let's just call this c actually C, uh, H is going to be V, uh, C equals C, U equals 0, D equals 0, L equals 0, and R equals 0. Now let's uh, say here, uh, read input uh, example, example, and let's print a uh, add cohorts uh, and then two tree and i actually need to do driving show and i'm gonna say a it's gonna be map map two tree and uh, let's see what it says ah yeah of course it's gonna be like a bunch of uh, let's do map and again map um okay so these are the trees okay now uh, let's actually write the instance eq eq tree where uh we're gonna say T of C equals C, A C one equals T, C equals C two, E C equal to C one equal to C two. So we just compare the cohorts to make the trees, right? And then a ah, let's just actually uh, T one a. Uh, equals is equal to uh, equal on a c and this is from data dot function okay and now we're also gonna we actually want to make this into an ord instance we would like to be at like the, the heights, right? But actually we have to say compare equals compare 
on coord, right? And then we're gonna have all the coordinates. Um, okay, now we have this tree. Let's write a show instance. Uh, instance show tree where a show a t. We're gonna do some record punning here. And we're gonna derive the show. We're gonna say a language record 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 wildcats. I think. And show is his. Okay, so we're gonna just. So each tree is just gonna be represented by. And the it's coordinate, right? Uh, it's gonna be a C C plus column plus a V show V and show C and I'll just height. All right, so these are all the trees. Um, now, how do we compute this? Okay, so we can do it kind of... Uh, so if we're computing the left value, right, that will only depend on the values of ones that we have seen so far. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's actually add the left value then to this. Uh, plus, uh, okay, let's not show H, but we'll see your H. And then we'll show the uh, UDLR. Okay, so this is the current state of the tree. Okay, so to compute the left value, we only have to look at trees in front of the list. Right? So to the left of the first one, uh, so the left, so, uh, so, 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 looking up. Its view is blocked immediately using the one tree of high fives. Okay. Um, can we just do it that way? Like, first you compute all the left values, then we compute all the right values. And what is the edge view of the uh, on the edge? It's going to be zero, right? If a tree is right on the edge, at least you want to be using this way. Yeah, okay, exactly. So, um, okay, so let's compute the uh, okay, so the, for the right, so the compute the right value, compute R val. This takes the uh, and this takes the uh, tree, and it takes the rest of the trees in the row, and uh, returns a compute R val is equal to a uh, so t uh, t bang bang at uh, okay. So the right value here, so this is like the height equals V. And then, okay. Let's see here. So it's, so how many trees it can see. Uh, this is then a... Uh, uh, rest, rest of... Row okay rest equals a uh, length uh, uh, 
filter a t at a dot dot uh, to a so that the height is less than or equal to uh imagine we look up left hand some of your chin edge are the first three that is the same height or three that's the same kind of color and it's that the the he the the uh, the h is less than or equal to the uh of the a uh, of the arrest A uh, pure arval int okay so now we want to like update a row so we write the compute our vals of tree takes a list of list of tree and uh, uh, into a list of let's compute a let's, let's just say a view score right score scores okay so to to scores okay scores okay so if we, if we have an empty list we return an empty list okay scores of the tree of a tree and trees is equal to uh, yeah so we could be smart right and like not recompute everything but i think we don't need to do that i think we i think it's fine this way uh but let's see maybe i'll i'm horribly wrong so this is gonna be a uh, uh, scores it's gonna be it's gonna be we're gonna s score the trees we're gonna score the t uh, TS and that's that's the new tree right uh, where s equals this and we're gonna say, say uh, uh, we're gonna say T uh, uh, ah and we have to pick which key it is um ding, 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 to tree so now we're 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 this is where we're updating a ah here we would need like lenses right but we don't have lenses or I mean, we have lenses so let's say let's say uh scores equals Scores, yeah, scores, equals scores is equal to zero, 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 zero. Okay, uh, and this is just up, down, left, right. Ah, yeah, I can actually have it like a. No, no, let's keep it like this. So score, and then we're gonna say a. Uh, uh, how do I? What is a nice way to do this? Let's write this. Okay, let's just have this be actually a. a S equals map dot from list a zip. Okay, so we're just gonna have a from list, and we're gonna say up a up. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna do it like this right we're gonna have it a bit clearer what we're talking about in each case but we still want to be able to refer it by the key uh, so let's paste this get it into position uh comma up down left right uh, up down uh, up down left uh, right Okay, now as uh, so a score tree, and we're scoring, we're giving a specific key. Uh, so actually, these are can just be characters. Uh, score tree char 
Okay, and then uh, right. Next, let's, let's not let's not keep involve that in the score function. This is just gonna be the score here. Okay, and uh, the score here. So where t pro so t uh, view score equals a uh, score t t s. And now we are going to say that uh, uh, this is going to be t prime uh, t prime uh, scores t s. Okay. And t prime is going to be t, but uh, s is equal to uh, map map dot update Google uh, map map dot update ah map oh no okay give me uh i'm just gonna run the person this is a risk if you get into the zone All right. Nothing damaged, I think. Yeah, I'll clean it up in a bit. Sorry about that. Okay, now did it up map. Uh, this bottle is a bit wobbly. Okay, it did it on map dot lazy. What is, what is this? Uh, uh, okay, now uh, insert uh, insertion. Yeah. Okay, and then we do map dot update. Uh, let's actually have this char here. We don't care about it here, but this is gonna be the key. Map dot insert a k a view score a a t dot s. Right? So what is it saying now? But oh, parse error on input scores. Okay. Uh. Uh, what is the problem here? Ah, there we go. Okay, and then this one was T at. Okay, and then this S is because I don't actually find the S here. This is gonna be a S. Is a map from char to int. And then we have to import data dot. Import data dot map uh, map. Import qualified qualified data dot map as map. Okay, uh, 
scores ts scores and we're going to be keeping the same key and then uh now here we need the uh, this is actually a new extension overloaded record dot language and we can do t.s right which is kind of cool uh where have the last comes to okay yes that's a that's a understandable have a nice day show h comma s okay uh map.lm let's just show the elements of this okay now so this is the scores okay so so now we have the trees and the scores and the chars okay so now i'm going to say okay task to it's going to be a list of trees to a list of trees okay a task two is going to say uh oh, it's a list of, list of trees to a list of list of trees task one trees equals a map a scores of right so first we're looking at the right ones map scores a, a now let's see what this one does a, a task two Uh, so for the first one uh, it's just zero ah yeah because I printed twice sorry about that um so we get the uh, three. So the first th tree can see three trees. Uh, can see the zero. Ah, uh, wait a minute. There should be two, right? So the zero one can see no trees to the right. Tree number two can see one tree to the right. Yes. And tree number uh, three can see. One tree, yeah, and tree number three can... Okay, so the end can see zero. That's all correct. But the zero comma zero, it should be seeing... Uh, let's actually look at the example, right? That's this uh, one comma two. So zero, uh, looking right, as you can, you can see. Ah. Okay, right. So, because it's not just filter... It's actually a uh, take while because it stops seeing after the first big tree, right? So two, zero, zero, one, zero, okay? And then this one, one, two is five, yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, task two is map scores are, so first we score to the right, okay? And then, uh, uh, and then we reverse and then we map scores to the left okay boom boom uh so okay and then we need to reverse again right okay so now this a uh, one two is is a uh, one two is two two yeah okay so the model if i look left its view it's blocked immediately you can only see one tree of height five right next to it ah uh, okay ah uh, because now we're taking while like it's less than or equal to but we have to break 
So we would actually want to say a uh, take while a uh, mm, 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 mm. so now we take okay and if it's less than okay a uh, okay let's say where a uh, uh, score funk okay. So we have the uh, SC. Okay, so we have here, we have the value in scope. Okay, and then we have the, so we have the uh, current tree. T, and then we have the rest of the trees. Uh, this is equal to, uh, uh, this is equal to case uh, v is less than or equal to so h is less than or equal to v ah no yeah okay so if the height is less than or equal to v okay if h is less than the current value then it's equal to uh, 1 plus sc of trs uh, right Okay, so if it's, then we continue. If uh, otherwise, it's equal to one, right? So if we're blocked, it's one. And the empty list is zero. Now this is no, not gonna be, this is just gonna be, uh, this is gonna be SC of rest. Okay, uh, so this one uh, five, so it's zero two two. Looking right, view is not blocked. Looking left, its view is blocked immediately. You can only see one tree. Uh, Okay, so uh, okay, right. So it's view. It's can only see one tree of high five. So this is the one in one, two, five. Uh, so this is five, and then why is it saying two, two, a? Uh, Let's just show the S, right? Like your values. Uh, what is again the uh, LMs? Keith Asox, yeah. Uh, Asox. I want to see like if we're doing it. Okay, so uh, it's D L R U. Okay. So it's D D L R U. Yep. So it's, uh, 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 oh, but these are all symmetric, right? They're all equivalent. Which is uh, not correct, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, so this one works for the map scores are right. We figured that out. So yeah, this one can see two trees to the right. So this tree here, which one, and this tree one, two. Now this one here is a medial block. Okay, uh, and then okay. Now, I want to see if I reverse it. Ah, right. So I have to do, sorry. It's not reverse, it's actually map reverse. Mm. 
let's not have this scoring function a yeah we need a scoring function because if we have many equal trades in the row it won't stop okay a so this is actually going to be map reverse and then we have to map reverse again this is a d uh l u r right okay so now it's saying uh five to the right you can see one tree this one can see one tree this one can see zero. yes okay and this one yeah okay so map score map reverse okay now we're doing this one okay e, 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 e. now let's uh, transpose this transpose try and figure out what, whether that's up or down uh, so you take it like this and then we go so transposition so zero 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 but uh, yeah so this one becomes zero okay now so it's going a uh, it actually doesn't matter right So let's say uh, trans. Okay, so map scores are and then map reaper. Okay, yeah. Now we fix it again. So then we want to transpose it and we want to a uh, map a uh, scores a. Uh, I think this is a uh, down. Down. Let's just uh, check what it says. Right. Uh, compared to the uh, S3. Ah! I closed the terminal. Sorry about that. Um, do, 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 do. CDD8. And we run it back. Now, so it was D L U R, right? Now we're doing D, so that's the first key. So 3 can see a. Uh, uh, I need to transpose it again, sorry. So zero zero can see a... Uh, yeah, it can see two down. This one here can see two down. Okay. Uh, okay. So then we're going to do transpose and map scores D. And then we're going to say map reverse. Uh, and we're going to say a uh, map scores a uh, u okay and now we're going to fix it so we're going to say uh, we're going to say a uh, transpose of map reverse of now this is looking like proper Haskell expression right map reverse map 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 transpose map 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 like that uh, meep meep okay let's see okay now let's go for the test tree so that's saying two one two one do, do. Uh, so two one two one yes okay now this one should see uh, two, two, one, two. I think, yeah, this is one. One. So this is down. So you can see one down, yeah? One down. Looking right, you can see two. Okay. Now, let's see for the, uh, now, okay. Okay, now we want to score them. So let's say a uh, okay. We're gonna say a uh, uh, max score. Okay, so a uh, total score takes a tree. 
there's an int total score is equal to a product of a map dot elements of s okay this is the total score of a tree so task two a e let me see uh so let's say here okay this we do all the transpositions okay and after that we want to say map a total score int map total score a map map total score so we map the total score over it and then we do uh, map and then we do maximum ah no i think it's just max and then we do a uh, max no what is max here max is a uh, uh, oh yeah right so it's not max it's max uh, um, and this is going to be max mum by maximum by uh, is probably a data dot list uh maximum by a uh, it doesn't like it uh no oh, yeah so this is just maximum by no mapping here Total score, it doesn't like it because uh, total score maximum by uh, we'll go. How does maximum by work? Maximum by oh, okay, right. Maximum by a uh, compare on total score. Uh, he doesn't like that. Oh, right. So we'll find the maximum by again. A maximum by compare on total score of a ding ding ding. Okay, we're actually gonna say here. map and then maximum by by compare on total score we, okay let's just uh, let's just ignore this for a bit uh, tree okay now a uh, Best tree is equal to maximum of maximum of map maximum of a map map total score. Okay, now let's see print task to a best tree. Uh, and now we're not going to map it, we're just going to print it. We get eight here, uh, and that's probably going to be the. Let me see here. Uh, uh, so I want this to work, right? So maximum by. Of a compare on a total score. Okay of the uh, map maximum by this is going to be given us the best tree maximum by i think that was what we were failing before on total score okay now we get the best tree 
let's see and that's gonna be that three comma two this one uh, and the total score a uh, Eh, 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 eh. Score forest. Okay, total score. A eh, total best tree. Okay, it's a best tree. So task two. Task two is equal. Takes a. Eh, it takes a list of list of ints. And returns an int. Okay, task two is equal to. A eh, total score of best tree of score forest of map map to tree of add codes uh, and score forest uh, score forest 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 score forest okay uh, let's see here and now we just do ta print task 2 Okay. Boom. Eight. What does it say for the X input? Boom. That is a big input. But let's see if it's correct. Do -do 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 -do. All right, we got it. And it took us an hour. Not bad. Do you think we started early? Uh, yeah, I mean, it did it in 82 milliseconds. We could have done better, right? Because, um, let's see here. Git status, uh, git add the 8.hs input example, git commit. Yeah, the eight. Get push. All right, we could have done better. Um, how? Um, we could have been more like dynamic, right? We could have been a. So we always look at all the trees, right? But you can kind of say that okay, the 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 tree on the edge has scores zero. Right, and then the trees, like this tree, and then you can say like, you know, if it's bigger than the tree next to it, then it has the score of the tree next to it plus one, right? Uh, so, and then we would kind of, you know, tie the knot, we start off here and then kind of compute it backwards, but uh, we didn't do that, that just, you know, we we would have done it if we had an even bigger input and we would have been running it for like multiple minutes or seconds. Um, but at this point, it's just a, a premature optimization, I think. But uh, I like it. We did it all point free. It was all map, map, dot, map, map, scene, map, bloop, 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 transpose map. I like this. This is a, you know, this is a work of art. I have to say, uh, right, map reverse. So we score, right, and then we boom, and then we score again, and then, so we always. But I think that's the key to making this as simple as possible, right? We have to keep. Um, we just look at one in a row, and then we just flip it around, right? And then we just kind of update them by, yeah. But okay. That's going to be it for today. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow. Uh, we have a Christmas party at work. So maybe I'll skip tomorrow and do both on Saturday. Uh, but I have visitors for the weekend. But not on Sunday evening. So they leave on Sunday evening and they arrive. Yeah, okay, so we, we, we might do... Okay, this is what we'll do. I actually have free time in, in between 10 and 12 tomorrow. So we'll do like a... 
stream right we're at 10 you know this is pre-lunch we're gonna be fresh fresh we did like a pre-lunch stream uh hopefully we managed to solve it in like an hour and a half and then i can do lunch and then i have to, oh because i have three hours yeah so i'll be able to solve it uh, i hope if it's not super hard and then we're done with that right and then we can do the saturday one early as well and then we do the sunday one late and uh, yeah because you know i've had it where uh, i do a couple of you know many per day but that can sometimes uh, i mean it's okay but then like they pile up and if you get two like one hard one it's really hard to get into a uh a, a, a you know another hard like another one after that so let's do it tomorrow 10 o'clock and uh i hope to see you then all right thanks for tuning in and uh yeah see you early tomorrow if you're there uh but if you're not there the recordings are always on youtube so it's gonna be there all right thanks a lot and uh bye, -bye.